Samuel L. Jackson has scenes with a kitty in his new movie. We've seen Jackson play Nick Fury nine times over the years so far. His 10th outing is for Captain Marvel, and this time, he's younger. Prove you're not a scroll. Samuel L. Jackson plays a much younger Nick Fury in Captain Marvel. That's because the movie takes place in the 1990s. So is that done in post? Yeah, they're doing it in post, because when I'm shooting, I did have the wig on, and I had dots on my face, and there's a process called Lola. I'm not sure what they do. But I do know that they referenced some films that I did from that time. So when I look at it, I see, you know, Danny Roman's face from Negotiator. You'll see another familiar face in Captain Marvel. There is a cameo from the late Marvel legend Stan Lee. You didn't know where he was in the movie, but it was almost like him coming to be in the playground with all of his friends. What is this? The S.H.I.E.L.D. logo. Does announcing your identity on clothing help with the covert part of your job? Said the space soldier who was wearing a rubber suit. There is clearly chemistry between Sam and Bree and Sam and the main cat who plays Goose. They're snack-based, so if they give you snacks, you, you uh, give them snacks, you talk to them in a calm voice so they recognize your voice, and Reggie worked on cue. Aren't you the cutest little thing? Aren't you cute? And what's your name, huh? Gary. What's you? I'll be back. But will it be in April for Avengers Endgame? He's not talking. There's nothing to give you. No, no, because if, if I start, then red dots will show up on my shirt, and I'll die. So we'll see if he somehow appears in Avengers Endgame at the end of April. Meantime, we'll see Captain Marvel in theaters at the end of the... Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.